Hey, what's up team? This is Eddie Gray and I wanted to take a second to talk to you about contact. I've discovered a bug. I'm sure some of you have been dealing with this and I actually found a workaround that I wanted to share with you. So before we get into it, why would you want to learn this? Well, let's say you're inside of a session like I am right now. So this is a client session and what I do for pre-production is just make sure all the instruments are where they need to be, do a basic static mix, and then ultimately I'll replace any samples with either a real performance, not MIDI, or just something that sounds better, right? They may have strings that are stock or pianos that are stock and you can go ahead and uplift the performance of the track simply by changing up the source sounds. So I'm trying to change the source sounds from this upright bass, the stock one from Logic Sounds. Ah, check it out. Especially when you get high in the register, it doesn't really sound realistic. So I thought, okay, why don't I replace that? So you think it'd be that simple, right? I'm going to go ahead, try and select another instrument, keep the same chain, keep everything the same. I've went ahead and purchased Upright Bass by Orange Tree Samples. I think it has another name like Coral Bass or Coral Pair. You can see it should be here somewhere. Yeah, Core Bass Pair. So then theoretically it should play, right? But here, check it out. It doesn't. And so then I started kind of wrestling with it. So let me go ahead and hit Command Z to go back to the original stock sound. Okay, so here it is. And it sounds okay, it just doesn't sound great. And that's kind of the main thing is I want to replace it. So then I thought to hold Command and create a new track with duplicate settings. And then again, go through that same process. But it seems that something is embedded in the metadata in the MIDI when uh when it's time to get into it so then i selected uh the instrument here and then again to no avail check this out see that nothing's coming out even though we are hitting play so let me command z that a couple times one sec so we're back in sampler listen Okay, so then I thought, well, surely if I take this MIDI, export it, key command, option command, E, I'm exporting now just the MIDI file, and I'll call it test, okay? So then now that's going to my desktop. Let me go ahead and take away just the MIDI, and uh, my second screen, I'm just going to bring this in, and then of course, you're like, yes, nailed it, but then you get this whole thing where everything is separated. You see how that works? Well, if you hit Command J, you'll be able to join those regions together, but we still got a problem. Check it out. If I isolate that track at S, we've got sampler, but we don't have contact. So you think, cool, fantastic. I'm just going to go ahead and change this. Uh, let me line up a better sample library, and I should be home free think again still so the problem is is you know you go from one uh stock sound to the contact um source sound and then that's when you kind of get the uh the 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 whole thing where it's lost in translation so here's what you need to do you need to export the midi file create another instrument separate from and then drag that in here and it should work so i'm going to take that same midi file drag it into the new instrument that i created again this is what's going to happen when you do this uh, so hit command j to join all of that together now i'm going to move it to the appropriate track which is right here and then now Now you got something that sounds a lot better. Let me go ahead and replace this one by holding mute and check it out. And then now if you don't like this source sound, you can change it up. Here's the preset, which sounds pretty nice. Check it out. Uh, 
Uh, let me change the register. Command A, Shift, Option, Down. There we go. This, sound, this should sound a little bit better. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that video. I really just wanted to bring it to light because it's something that I've seen on more than one occasion. It's happened to me a couple times. And I thought, man, wouldn't that be a fantastic video if somebody just took the time to just show that little that little bug there and how that works. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you're loving the content, go ahead, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thank you guys very much for your time. We know who you are. We love you. We respect you. And remember to keep your frequency high. We'll see you again. Cheers.